Do you have a nagging, burning, or itching that just won't go away in your arms? If you do, there's a condition called brachial radial pruritus. And what that means is there's a sensory uh, interference between the brain and the arm and, and the sensory input coming from the arm is telling the brain that your arm itches. Commonly, these people will scratch their arm while they're asleep and wake up and with blood and they aren't consciously controlling it because they're asleep and they're constantly itching. When they're conscious and awake during the hour, of course, they can um, withstand the urge to scratch, but when they sleep, they can't. And we've seen many of these cases over the years uh, helped tremendously by correcting the upper cervical spine misalignment. So the brain controls all of the cells in the body. And if you have a misalignment right at the floor of the skull from a prior injury and that vertebra is locked out of position and it's interfering with the central nervous system, it can cause any part of the body to malfunction. And one of those things are these abnormal sensory inputs from different areas of the body. It can't, it's not always just the arm. We've had patients with chronic itching on the skin and the, in between the shoulder blades and in various areas, but the arms are the most important. So if you're someone who's suffering, with chronic brachial radial pruritus or chronic itching in the arm or anywhere in the body, uh, it would be worth your while to check in out Blair Upper Cervical Chiropractic. These are doctors that specialize in correcting upper cervical spine misalignments with no twisting, no popping, no pulling. It's done with 3D imaging to very precisely ascertain how the structure is misaligned. And then the goal is to get the segment back in position to get the central nervous system to function better. And many times we find once that irritation is removed, these sensory uh, inputs that are abnormal start to normalize and patients improve with these types of symptoms.